It's important to save your work frequently in case PowerPoint or your computer shuts down unexpectedly. But there's more than one way to save in PowerPoint 2013. You can also save and share your presentations online so you can collaborate with friends or coworkers in SkyDrive. We'll take a look at the regular save command first. You'll find it in the upper left corner on the Quick Access toolbar. All you have to do is click, and if the presentation is a new file, you'll be taken to the Backstage view. Here you can save the presentation to SkyDrive or your computer. In this example, we're going to choose Computer, and then click Browse to choose a location. Next, enter a file name for the presentation, then click the Save button when you're done. Now you can save your file anytime as you continue to work. All you have to do is click Save on the Quick Access toolbar again, and it'll be saved in the same location automatically. If you want to save an extra version of the file, maybe in a different location or with a different file name, you can go to the Backstage view, click Save As, and follow the exact same steps. Remember, you can choose between either SkyDrive or your computer. Now, if you primarily save presentations to your computer, you might want to change the default setting so computer is always selected. To do this, navigate to Options in the Backstage view, then click Save in the left pane, and check the box that says Save to Computer by default. Remember to click OK when you're done. If you ever forget to save, or if PowerPoint crashes while you're working on something, not to worry. The Auto Recover feature saves a backup copy of your presentation automatically. To recover a file that was lost without saving, all you have to do is reopen PowerPoint. The Document Recovery pane should appear on the left. Here you can access any auto-saved versions of the file. By default, PowerPoint auto-saves every 10 minutes only. So if you're working on something for less than 10 minutes, you may not be able to rely on this feature to restore a copy of your file. Next, I'd like to show you how to export your presentation to an alternative file type. You can access your options in the Backstage view under Export. For instance, if you need to send your presentation to someone who doesn't have PowerPoint, you can save it as a PDF instead. You could even get creative and turn your presentation into a video, which can be played on its own or uploaded to a site like YouTube. Under Change File Type, there are several other formats to choose from depending on what you need. If the person you're sharing with has PowerPoint, for example, but it's PowerPoint 2003 or earlier, you'll need to send them a 97 to 2003 presentation instead. Finally, let's take a look at more ways that you can share your work by going to Share in the Backstage view. Here your choices will vary depending on whether or not the file is saved to your SkyDrive account. For example, if it is saved to SkyDrive, you can share the presentation online and invite other people to view and edit it with you. This lets you work on the exact same file with friends, coworkers, and other SkyDrive users, so you don't have to keep track of multiple versions or pass the presentation back and forth. There's another useful option called Present Online that'll actually let you give your presentation as a web-based slideshow. This can be especially helpful if you're in a conference call, a web meeting, or something else that's being done remotely. How you choose to save and share in PowerPoint is up to you. It just depends on the presentation. With so many options, you should be able to accomplish exactly what you need, whether it's exporting your file as a video or sharing it online.